Hello Denver Region, I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Pico WPS 500X Pressure Transducer Kit, some of its components, and its basic settings. Your dealership will receive this kit with your special service tools for the launch of the 2020 Supra. If you've never used a pressure transducer before, just know that a pressure transducer does nothing more than sense a pressure and output a voltage that's proportional to that pressure. The transducer can be connected to your picoscope to display a waveform for diagnostics. As the sensed pressure increases, so does the voltage. Pressure transducers can be used in several ways for drivability diagnostics. With a pressure transducer, you can test compression, fuel pressure, exhaust pulses, intake pulses, and a variety of other pressures. Pressure transducers are far more responsive than a gauge and can identify problems that a gauge cannot. The kit includes a Pico WPS 500X pressure transducer, a compression hose, fuel hoses, an exhaust hose, a vacuum hose, a USB charging cable, and a BNC cable for connection to your picoscope. The WPS 500X uses a rechargeable lithium polymer battery and is charged with the included USB charging cable by connecting to the USB port on the side of the transducer. Prior to using the transducer, charge the battery for at least five hours. To measure pressure, connect the appropriate hose to the inlet port of the transducer. If you're measuring a liquid, be sure to also connect your bleed hose to the bleed vent. And prior to making any measurements, depress the bleed valve to purge any air from the measurement chamber. The face of the transducer has a power button, a range button, and a zoom button. To power up the transducer, depress the power button for one to two seconds. It is important that the pressure transducer not be connected to a pressure or vacuum source when powering it up so that it can complete its self-calibration. Once the indicators have stopped blinking, the transducer has completed the calibration and is ready to use. When testing with a pressure transducer, it is important to select an appropriate pressure range setting. The WPS 500X has three ranges. Range one is the default range and senses from negative 15 PSI to positive 500 PSI. Range two senses from negative 15 PSI to positive 50 PSI. Range three senses from negative five PSI to positive five PSI. Additionally, the WPS 500X has a zoom setting. The zoom feature allows the technician to select one times, 10 times, or 100 times zoom levels. The one time zoom level is the default and is sufficient for most tests. To connect your transducer to your picoscope, attach the BNC cable to the output of the transducer, and then connect the other end of the BNC cable to the desired channel on your picoscope. In the next video, I'll discuss how to set up your picoscope to display a waveform. Thank you for your time, and stay safe.